Send me that screenshot. <laughs> I don't think the shitty part is. Welcome everyone to the ultimate game in the college football season. Everything has built to this. The battle for the national championship and college yeah. football immortality. A moment that every never do anything player like grows up dreaming about. And what a matchup this is. Two survivors of the expanded college football playoff grind. Two of the top four seeds when it all began. Both sides have been challenged. I said Long Beach. All year and through the playoff. Now it's time to find out who can take that final yeah. step. As we'll see the third seed in this playoff, the Miami Hurricanes. <laughs> taking on a squad from the SEC, Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler. Joined as always by Kirk Street. And this is it. Two teams enter, one team leaves here as national champions. Let's get this going. <laughs> College football national championship at stake. And he takes this from inside the five. I don't know, he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So Alabama's offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. Well, here we go. Average is 690 yards. Is kind of wild. Amazing, Kirk. We are just 60 minutes away from crowning a new <coughs> national champion. Football. And think about it as a player, this is really what you dream about. This is what you work towards, having an opportunity to get to the national championship. Both these... Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. Yeah. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job on this offensive line. The back gets behind him. And his reviews ever stopped me. I don't let reviews stop me. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? They're going to run it. Ah. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. There's <coughs> not a whole lot of options here for this <coughs> on the RPO. The defense give them credit. They did a nice job of sniffing it out. I'm pretty surprised that the quarterback is second guessing that decision and giving it to the back instead of pulling that and either running it himself or maybe making a nice throw. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. Quarterback sets up looking for an open man. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. Takes the football inside the 30, and that's a first down. Well, I've always said I think this quarterback all year long has been able to be as consistent as any quarterback in the country. And when you get the third down, you've got to trust that he's going to make the right decision and throw an accurate ball to give you a chance at a first down. There's another example of it right there. Second down after that previous play. I love the call here with the wide receiver screen. <clears throat> Where's he going to go? The blockers do not do their job and open up any running lanes at all. Ooh, there we go. That's right for a quick completion. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Let's go. Touchdown, tied. Touchdown, tied. <clears throat> In a national championship game, you cannot do a better job of setting the tone immediately, Kirk. Mm. Well, it's the biggest game of the year, so you've got to bring your best. On the opening drive, oh. the offense did just that. The grow. That's how you get this thing started. Well, we can... Drive, but at wherever. The AC. No. The one in San Diego. Oh yeah, 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 I love that. I love it. I do. We should go to the pier. Not the Santa Monica one, but yeah. Staff, it still comes down to the line of scrimmage and the ability to pound the rock. Think about the backs they've had in recent years Mark Ingram and Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, Shamir Gibbs most recently. This is an offense that still wants to control things up front and beat you down. 
handoff from the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. How about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky. <sighs> Gun now on third down. Oh, shoot. He's going to take off. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no game. So they'll pass up the long field goal attempt to keep the offense on the field for fourth down. Well, the defense does a good job of pressuring the quarterback, but really impressed with the quarterback's effort. Not only is he pulled out of that, but he's able to get ah. back close to the line of scrimmage. And he finally steps out of bounds after a huge gain. It'll be first down and goal. Well, Chris, here's an example of what we always talk about. On fourth down, the receiver's got to run a route beyond the sticks. Great awareness to know exactly where he is. Quarterback makes the throw. Receiver gets hit, but he's beyond the sticks for the first down. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Alabama. That's why he's a dangerous scrambler. The quarterback's oh, going to end that. this scoring drive right here. I'll do it myself. And everybody's covered downfield. The defense has done a pretty good job of containing the offense. The problem is this guy's creativity. I don't know, maybe put a spy, a linebacker on him to try to mirror him when he takes off to scramble. Yeah. I know that's kind of out of nowhere, yeah. I just never thought of it. I, I literally went to the website for something for Adlin, and then I just kind of went like, oh, what if? And, yeah. The kickoff team on the field now is a um, set to send this one away. What else that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So a touchback will start at the 25. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. It really yeah, has a defense off balance available. in the last possession. Mixing the run and pass extremely well. Has the first down and more. The tackle oh, at the that 38. One. Solid game. That one. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, one. and you can Maybe. see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. Bro, Chris Chambers. No, it was Chris Chambers. What's his name? Drew Chambers down, ran right by who was supposed to block to get run over by somebody who wasn't even supposed to block. Pretty funny. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. <laughs> yeah, but that's a solid gain on the play. Well, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Breaking free at the 35. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30 yard line. <laughs> Nothing better than an offense on I really want a mic my you know, like that, guess. you can either keep giving it to the back or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage and you can throw it over speed, top of speed, speed. He's got some touchdown to get there. touchdown Bama. this quarterback on fire today simple throw put him to bed. after the catch explosive play by the receiver to score just a dynamic athletic playmaker as simple as you said Chris just throw him the football he makes a catch and then all the fireworks are after the catch, and this defense just unable to corral mm -hmm. it. I guess those will be my three. Punt team ready to boot it away. Bringing it back, it's Young. Dang! Brings down the returner. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. <laughs> now run it here. That's the running back with the ball. They've got him down out near the 40. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield on play action. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Spider. Spider. 
There's some pre-snap movement. Back in motion. Pressure is coming. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a one. He'll call for the fair catch here. 40 yard punt. Yep. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Defense is coming after him. He'll throw it now. No, I can't wait to talk that. The catch. They bring him down, but a solid game there in the first down. Looks to be just inches short of the mark. That's another positive game here for this offense, and this defensive coordinator is going to have to make some kind of adjustments to get this quarterback out of his rhythm. It's the national championship, and you've got to take chances and mix up your coverages because right now what you're doing just isn't working. First down here for this offense. And the quarterback keeps it here. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. That completion makes it second down. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. Now test the middle and get stuck. That is just not open for business today. Important second down play coming up. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Physical Ooh. run, breaking Dang. tackles. They get the senior to the ground, but it's a nice run there. Alabama getting set for the first and ten now. Ball handed to the running back. And tackled after a small pickup there. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense. Ooh. And this one goes nowhere. Why can he get back to the line of scrimmage? This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. On third down, he drops to throw. They chase him down. They tried to run for it, but it'll bring up fourth down. So no hesitation by the coach. The offense is out there to go for it here. Quarterback's got it on the option. Pitch play to the back. Ball carrier brought down, but a flag's on the field. Let's check out this call. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. That stings for the offense. Penalty will cost him. Damn. Still knocked it through. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They start the drive with a good throw to the right side. Stop right there at the line. No game. Here's the second down play. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Great cut. They whiff on him. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Boy, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. On first down, it's play action. And they heave it deep downfield. That deep shot is hot for a big game. We could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. 
Well, yeah, that's a well oiled machine right yeah, there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. The punt team making their way on the field. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They start to drive with a quick throw to the left side. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Oh, it's snapped to the back. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Important third down play coming up. And they'll give it to the back. They've got him, but not before he makes a first down at the 41. Chris, it's pretty surreal to get to the national championship in this day and age of college football when everybody wants to spread you out and throw the football. This offense has been pounding the rock all year long. And here, how about the first half? This back is having a big day. Running back has it on the screen now. They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid game for a first down. First down and 10 now. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. And I think in the process, Chris, they sent a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Keeping it on the ground here. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. And he throws it away. A smart choice that time. But it will bring up third down. I mean, I like this play. I mean, not only is it the right play, throwing it away like that, but given that he had no other option, he just did what he's supposed to do to survive and get ready for this next down. And he'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, tied. You could just tell this quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do as things were developing in front of him. He saw that open space and decided, I'm just going to take it myself and head to the end zone for a touchdown. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Quarterback still with the football. They stop him, but it's a first down. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down and I am taking off myself on the option. He has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. Brought down, but the game moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big. Oh, and he Whoop. fumbles. Ooh, he recovers the fumble, maintains possession. Wow, that's just big yeah, time for this his ball. teammate to be able to scoop up that ball like it was a ground ball. As a result, the offense retains possession. 
offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Running out of time in the pocket. And he'll wisely throw that one away. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. Trying for a fourth down completion. Going to try to use his legs here. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, of which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Hey, how about the quarterback here with his eyes downfield selling the pass to open that play up? Man, offensive line. Really good job of selling and then getting upfield to that second level to be able to pick up some key blocks. Takes the handoff. It's Young. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Looking to pass this time. He's moving out of the pocket. He'll try a pass here. Caught near the goal line. Tackled after the completion down at the one-yard line. This is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, that's what we call assignment football by the defense. They took away the back inside. It's a perfect play to be able to stop an athletic quarterback on the option. Alabama looking to convert on fourth down here. And the wideout goes in motion. And the quarterback tucks it and takes off as a designed run. Touchdown, Alabama. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. Chris, you think this guy, when he went to bed last night at the team hotel, thought he would score not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns in one game? What a day. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. On that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the ground game. Let's see if that formula works again. Quarterback changing the play now at the line. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Oh, I love this defense and how they're playing some man coverage. And let's face it, when you do that, it's a bit risky. You can leave your defensive backs out there on islands. But the good combination of good coverage with a good pressure on the quarterback, and you come up with sacks like this. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Now the defense is getting pressure on the quarterback. They got a little bit fooled here by the screen play. Nice positive gain for the offense. And he'll drop back here on third down. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the coverage team able to bring him down. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. They'll give it to the running back. Now this defense is going to have to mix up some looks because this back has had a monster day in the national championship. Running inside, running outside. The defense has got to do a good job of locking in on him to negate his big play ability. 
caught in the flat by the running back. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. So the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. The quarterback keeps it on the option. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, there's the defense stepping up and making a nice play. Let's face it, this quarterback has been tough to deal with. He's been able to run and pick up some good yards, but this time, the defense is in position, and they tackle him for a loss. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yard again. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Shotgun formation here on third down. He's moving out of the pocket. And he'll just get rid of it. On third and short, the offense coordinator has his entire playbook open. You can run it or you can throw it. Either one's available. They chose to go through the air here. He's not able to hit it. And the punt team now on to kick it away. Turner decides to fair catch this. Ready. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. Let's go. Running back with the football. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. What a shock, right? I mean, this guy once again gets his hands on the football. And great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a combination of his vision and speed along with really dominant offensive line play. Heads out of bounds after another big gain on the ground. He's been shredding this defense with his scrambles today. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. Using his legs, it's Young. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. Touchdown, Bama. And the route is on. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out. Executing the play call and continuing to put points on the board. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Back to throw. It's Wolf. Looking for the wide out. Oh, the pass is picked off. And that's a solid return after the interception. Boy.
crucial third down play right here. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Red gain is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. A nice little simple touch pass here by the quarterback, getting the ball out to the receiver who's in motion. Look, that doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. And no offense is ever going to say no to moving the chains. Use the running game to chew on this clock now. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given a quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want whenever we feel like doing it. That's it. It's official. We have our national champions. What an emphatic statement to close out this national championship run. You know, the coach told his guys, go out there and leave no doubt. Same mission accomplished. Well, sometimes a team wins a national championship and they just got hot at the right time. And there's other times when it's been clearly the best team in college football all year. To me, these guys have been right up there as a top team in college football, and it's very fitting that they not only win it, but they win it in grand fashion. Well, that's it. Dramatic punctuation to another outstanding season of college football. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been a presentation of EA Sports College Football. Officially, your kings of the college football world and national champions, the Alabama Crimson Tide.